Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a little review over the new Quilted Pillow Madison. I just purchased it um, like last week. I got it in the mail and it's so beautiful. I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, so yeah, please stay tuned. Alright, so full disclaimer, um, whatever that means, but this Pillow Madison is a bigger bag. So um, again, I've said it so many times, I'm typically a small slash mini bag person, um, but this is a, this is a pretty, this is a pretty wide bag, it's pretty chunky, um, but it is just so beautiful and looks so luxurious and expensive that, of course, I had to add it to the collection, and, um, I haven't even taken the price tag off yet, but here she is, it's so 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 nice um I mean clearly you can tell how big it is just from holding it up um and yeah so it comes with like a nice little cushiony um hang tag just like the the pillow tabbies and um this retails for I don't know um <laughs> I I must have hit the price must have came off. I don't know how much it retails for. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's probably around like 500. I, just to take a guess. So anyway, this is um just absolutely gorgeous. Love the little quilted design. How it's um you know at an angle it makes it different from the other Madisons that came out that were quilted. I don't own any of those ones. Um, I wasn't really a fan of those ones. I don't know. I think it was just a little bit too boxy for my liking. Like, it was literally so structured and so boxy. Um, I don't know. It just wasn't my cup of tea. It was really pretty, but just I, preference, I just didn't like it. So, when I saw this one comes out, it looks way more, like, squishy and pillowy. Just like the Pillow Tabby, it is, it is exactly that but the Madison. Um, so, as you can see, it is a bit wide, and it does have a really nice pocket on the back here. So, you can put... Um, phones and whatnot and because it is oh it's magnetic I didn't even did not even notice that that's so nice it's a little you see that it's a little magnet love that that's so so nice um this would be a perfect pocket for like your phone or something or you know money papers receipts whatever but that is so cool how that's a magnet back there um it comes with a really nice leather woven chain here um i really like that about the um the, like the old parkers and now the madison i think the madison is like a upgraded version of the parkers because i own the parkers and it's like pretty much same thing um but i like how they do that on um, the leather woven into the chain because it just makes it look a little bit more expensive you know um but yeah so i'll do it up close of the front clasp so here's the back up close. I hope that you can, I hope it's in focus. Um, here's the back up close. As you can see, it has a nice um, leather C here, just like on the pillow tabbies. And then a little turn lock here. The only thing I will say with this is if you have long nails, it's going to be like a pain in the butt to close because it is like... Um, in there in in between the C so like even for me because I don't want to scratch the C in the middle here so you do have to be kind of careful when closing it I'm not going to try to close it because I need to like be conscious when I'm doing it but that's the only thing I don't like about this bag so far um is that if you have long nails or sharp nails or whatever you you might scratch this inner C here but if you open it up it does have the magnetic clasp there another pocket so that's really nice and then it's nice and open on the inside um I'm hoping you guys can see really well I still have all the stuffing in there um I'll take it out in just a second but I did want to show you guys that little piece there um and again I'll do an up close of the little hang tag there I don't even know if it's in focus but there it is and then the back I'll show you the back Okay, so I just took out all the stuffing, and of course I'm going to put it back in the bag, because as y'all know, I like to get the stuffing in the bags to hold your shape and whatnot. Um, it is pretty spacious on the inside. You can see there, it's all leather, that na that same nap of leather all the way throughout, and in the back there, but there is like that microfiber 
lining on the inside. It has a really nice big zipper. It has a nice zipper right there. Um, so it is pretty spacious on the inside. Um, I mean, I don't carry much, so this is super spacious to me. So I have a lot of people who message me and ask me, like, for, like, my mini bags, like, oh, what can you fit in there? Can you fit a lot? Whatever. And I'm always like, oh, heck, yeah, I can fit tons of stuff. But I don't carry that much. So I always make a point to say that I don't carry a lot. So for me, these bags fit quite a bit of stuff, like my essentials and some. But like I said, I only carry the necessities. So this bag is, like, actually very spacious to me. I can fit so much stuff in here. But for somebody who carries more, this might be, like, a super small bag. But you have these extra pockets on the all around, like this one right here on the inside, and then you have the one on the back. But for me, I don't like to pack my bags so much where it's like bulging. But you know, people like to carry different things, so um, to each their own. That's just my preference and what I carry. Um, so yeah. The only other thing I will say about like Napa leather and this being like this chalk color. What makes me so nervous is color transfer. Um, so like when I had this video out about the pillow tabby and also I still get um, messages and like comments and things like that um, on how I maintain or clean, you know, like these chalk bags. Well, I am very, very conscious about what I'm wearing um, with, you know, light colored bags because I did have an incident where... I was wearing a um, coated canvas white Cassie and it was, you know, leather on the top and then coated canvas on the bottom. And I was wearing like this green and it, it was like this green and black shirt. <clears throat> it was like a tie dye shirt, t-shirt type. And I had no idea that it was going to color, that the color was going to transfer on my bag. Like it was literally the worst Thing ever because it was green and black and I was wearing it as like a shoulder bag and I did not even notice until I put my bag up on the counter to pay and it was like black on top like no joke it was black on the top and all on the back um and I was horrified I hurried up and paid and I ran home and I was like dude what the heck and so luckily on the leather um it did come out because I I was literally at the target closest to my house which is like five minutes away um so I literally ran home and hurried up and cleaned it and on the leather part it came off like it came right off but on the coated canvas it didn't come all the way off it's super super faint you hardly notice it but of course I notice it so after that I was completely traumatized <laughs> so whenever I wear a light colored bag and especially now with this Napa leather if you rub too hard when cleaning Napa leather, the color will come off. Um, so you have to be very careful. So with a bag like this, I will be very conscious of what I'm wearing um, and ensure like if I have a new piece of clothing that it's been washed like 10 times before I wear it with that. Um, but like I said, even so, I'm going to be just be very conscious when you're wearing light colored bags on how you're gonna wear it and what you're wearing it with. If you want to wear it as a shoulder bag, be conscious of what color shirt you're wearing because it's going to be sitting there rubbing against, you know, all right here. If you want to wear it as a crossbody, are you going to be wearing it against jeans? Um, is it going to be against a new pair of jeans? <laughs> like, so just be conscious of all those things because the snap of leather is a little bit more delicate when cleaning. So I just wanted to quickly mention that. It's just a bag, but it's beautiful, so try not to scratch it. <laughs> um, but yeah love this one so much it's gonna be so classy it's so perfect for spring um I just made a post on my Instagram the other day saying like I can't believe it's been almost a year since the pillow tabby came out like it literally seems like it just came out like a few months ago like time is flying by so fast but um definitely gonna be rotating between this one and my pillow tabby um my ivory one because I only really use them like in like the spring summer months I have not reached for it like at all this past fall and winter um I don't know it's just not the vibe for that season I don't think but 
it, the season for it is coming up, so I'm definitely going to be rotating between these two. This one is just gorgeous. Um, I will definitely post a picture on my Instagram and style it and do all that jazz. That's why I'm not going to like stand up and show you how I wear it and whatnot. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this in the next few days or this week, upcoming weekend. Um, so I'll definitely post a picture on my Instagram. So make sure to look for that. If you're not following me, follow me. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, so that pretty much sums up this like tiny little review. Um, if you have any other questions about it or, um, just want to chat about it, whatever, um, leave a comment below. If y'all have any recommendations or requests, please let me know. Um, I really want to know what you guys want to see, and I will definitely try to make those videos for you guys. Um, but other than that, I will see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, bye.